I was involved in um, supporting a Syrian refugee family, uh, well, ooh, six, seven years ago now, and it was very difficult for them. They were they were Muslim, and we had to go to Brampton or Milton to a local mosque, and that made travel, you know, was was cumbersome at that point. And uh, so now having something close to home is great. And you know, I'm I'm very pleased too that the group has taken this heritage building and done a renovation which maintained the heritage characteristics of that 100 year old plus plus uh, structure yes and that's a really great sentiment there as well too uh, that you mentioned that even though the religion might change it, it's still the sentiment of just coming together and just practicing whatever religion that you practice, you know, is still there, which is really great. Now on to yeah. a, a little more serious topic. So youth crime. So Georgetown found itself in the headlines for the wrong reasons earlier this month, where there was a stabbing at Georgetown High School. Now, obviously, this is a very rare incident, but coming out of um, what that incident we've seen, you've talked to trustees about maintaining school safety. What have you heard from them? Yes. Well, and I and I have talked to to Jean Gray, who is the trustee for the Halton Public Board in our area. And um, she she relayed to me that the school community was as taken aback as as the rest of us were. And, you know, very disturbed by this because our schools are among the safest in the country. There's no question about that. So um, when something like this happens, we're, we all kind of are set back on our heels. Although, you know, there've been schoolyard, schoolyard fighting is not anything that is, that is um, new by any stretch of the imagination. But that said, um, I do know that the school was on it, you know, instantly, obviously, and wanted to make sure that, that um, the person who was injured was cared for as quickly and as safely as possible. And and also the the school though afterwards had a um, an online kind of forum for parents and students and so forth to to talk to the school principal to talk to the administration to and the, the trustees were involved as well in order to understand the safety measures that were in place and um, and and they could have their questions answered about going forward how the safety of the school was going to be maintained. And so, you know, that's really important to have that kind of forum where you get real legitimate information, not social media, you know, not something that is hearsay. Um, and um, so, you know, the schools continue, they, they practice lockdowns, they practice all kinds of measures that will keep the kids safe. And so I have a huge amount of confidence and, I, I reached out to the principal as well, and and they know that if there is anything that that as a town we can do to support them, we're going to be there absolutely. And then the final topic that I wanted to discuss with you as well, there are a number of consultations and just a, a new survey as well on Let's Talk Halton dot com. I know there's also yeah. a survey on the Cedarville Park playground replacement as well too. So can you tell me a little bit more about those new surveys and consultations? Yeah, yeah. Well, and thanks for asking, you know, because having input from our residents is a really important part of our planning. And, uh, you know, some people might say, well, what do we, I thought that that playground equipment just went in, you know, it seems fine to me. But we have to maintain a, um, a level of safety, even for insurance purposes. And, you know, playground equipment changes and so forth. So, at Cedarvale Park, which is one of our biggest major parks, um, we we are reaching out to people and asking them if um, if they have any comments about the kinds of things that they want to see in the park and and so forth. And there there are a couple of other areas where we're doing that too. So residents can go on to a website called Let's Talk Halton Hills, and um, there's actually five or six different opportunities for people to weigh in and uh, to review some of the prospective plans and to to provide their opinions on things. A lot of opportunities to provide uh, resident input. All right, Mayor Lawler, yeah. thank you so much for spending your time and speaking with us. We really do appreciate it.
Well, thank you and uh, have, a, have a good week. And um, if you happen to be celebrating Ramadan, all the best for that celebration as well.